my name is Tom Naff, and I was asked to come out today to do some flying with Sid from Colpar Hobbies. We have a little bit of wind, so we're uh, flying a nitro-powered 40 aircraft. We started off flying a, uh, a light uh, Vision Air, and the winds were just a little bit high to really do any effective training, so we transitioned over to flying the 40 size plane. Uh, we are at Air Park Elite RC Field, which is located in Strasburg, and uh, it is an AMA sanctioned club. Uh, but today what we're going to do is we're going to work on flight training and start the initial evaluations and figure out where uh, Sid's at and go through training him to become a proficient RC pilot. Yo, what up, fam? This is your boy, Sid, the RC guy. And uh, as Tom was saying earlier that we were doing some flying, as you guys can tell, the plane is in one piece still, so that means I did okay. So let me tell you, if you've never flown before, do not, by all means, do not think you can just pick up a flight controller and go. There's way, way more involved. You can have hundreds upon hundreds of hours on the simulator. It does not compare to the real deal. Tom here has showed me so much. We have flown about four times, about five times now, how do you say I've done so far? I'd say you'd probably last about 10 seconds before the airplane would be in a pile. Uh, unfortunately, that's, that's the way it is though when everybody starts, unless uh, you're just naturally apt to doing this. Uh, it's one thing to fly in a flight simulator, it's another thing to actually get out here and fly. And the problem is, is people buy a brand new airplane, they think they can fly it because they can fly a flight simulator. And then what happens is, in less than 10 seconds, it's usually a bag of scraps. Yeah, let me tell you guys, it's been a lot of fun. We've done this plane, we did the Vision Air, we did the whole Buddy Box setup. We're going to do a quick video on how kind of how the Buddy Box setup works is. But so far, we've had a lot of fun. You guys have got to get a hold of him. Um, I'm going to put all of his information at the end. Become an AMA member, get a hold of your local flying clubs. If you're in another state, you, you guys, flying is a lot of fun. But you've got to get someone that knows what they're doing. Um, I remember when I first started flying, I flew a Radian. I thought I knew what I was going to be able to do. I broke it many a times. I finally figured out what to do. But the glider to this is completely night and day difference. And Tom has showed me so much. I've had so much fun today. I can't wait to come back out and hopefully buy one of my own planes. Luckily, he's got some really awesome planes that he trains with. Um, this is one of them. And it, it's been a lot of fun. So I have to say thank you so much, oh, Tom, for having me out. Absolutely. I can't no wait fun, to man. come back out again. Right. We're definitely doing a full series on this, guys. So... Uh, as always, keep your lipos charged or uh, keep your nitro tanks filled. Uh, we'll get out to you guys later. All right, take care. We'll talk to you.